Ladies and gentlemen, to Fighting Evolution Wrestling, coming at you live from the magic city of Miami, Florida. My name is the young Professor Matt Grafer. That's right, I am the world's most famous plaything. They call me Stick. And folks, we thank you for joining us here at 6 p.m. every single Saturday night. FEW does it. Right. Make sure you follow us on all forms of social media. It's Fighting Evolution Wrestling on Facebook, FEW underscore Survive, of course, on Twitter and the Instagram. And we opened our show tonight. You heard from Renee Michelle. Now, she shocked the world last week. We heard that there was going to be an FEW Flares Championship Invitational. We introduced some new flares. We knew who two of them were. We had no idea that who that third person was going to be and she revealed herself in grand fashion and she is ready to compete later on here tonight. It's going to be one heck of a matchup. We've got a bunch of great matches here tonight. FEW always delivers. It certainly does. We're going to see some tag team action here tonight. We're going to see the Russell Twins. That's Allen with an A. German with a K. And they're going to be taking on... Some, a new tag team we have not seen here in FEW before. That's the main event. They are the greatest show in professional wrestling. At least that's what they say. We'll be the judge of that. I heard they brought a lion. I heard they did bring a lion. More on that a little bit later. We know that Culture Inc. is here. We know that's right. that the Players Club is here. Our boys, the Players Club, are here tonight, and they have unfinished business they've got unfinished business bad blood and they are two of the top tag teams and speaking of top tag teams and speaking of bad blood the new nation i heard they are sniffing around here somewhere and that spells trouble for everybody here tonight but we're going to kick things off tonight with a little rodeo a little action a couple of cowboys <laughs> We're going to see the debut of the Space Cowboy, Stacy Alexander. He's going to be taking on our FEW's own Florida Blue, and that match is coming your way after our first commercial break. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen. We got a heck of a show for you here for FEW. Well, Sticks, it's time, <laughs> Professor! It's not dawn. It's a little after sunset, but we got ourselves a showdown. The Space Cowboy versus the Florida Cowboy. Let's take it to Joshua Flores for the proper introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, this first match is scheduled for one fall. One fall! All right, Professor. FBW has its own rodeo here tonight. Who you got? Ooh, that's a tough call. Now, I think I think this is going to be a good match no matter which way this goes. Couple of cowboys, we always like to see that. It sticks. I heard that you're friends with this guy. Oh, yeah. We go way, way, way back. All the way back. All the way back to the Special Buddies Coalition. We have worked together in the past. A Stacy Alexander is making his debut here in the Magic City. Look at him. He's holstered his weapons and he is ready to duel it out with his opponent, who Joshua Flores is going to welcome down the steps into the FEW arena right here and right now. I always holster my weapons, Professor. Always holster my weapons. As you should, Sticks. There's Florida Blue. Florida Blue. Now these are two very different kinds of cowboys. <laughs> you ain't wrong. You got a blue cowboy. Blue you hair. You got a space cowboy. Wait What's a minute. What is, 
What is this? I thought that we were supposed to get a rodeo. I feel like this is something different. I don't have any singles. Florida blue. I feel slightly violated. True blue from FEW. Referee Andrew Gurk gonna check, make sure both of these competitors are ready to go. There's no foreign objects. Do they keep those weapons holstered? Look at the face of Stacy Alexander. He appears to be a bit confused. Well, in all fairness, Stacy Alexander is often confused. Well, there's the bell, and there's no confusion there that this match is officially underway. Look at the size difference. The Space Cowboy is a big cowboy. And he's here to rope him. A Florida cowboy. Jeez, how many cowboy puns? I, I, you know, I'm trying. Match? I'm doing the best I can. We got two cowboys. What do you want me to say? What? We got a waist lock, though, and a side headlock from Florida Blue. Florida Blue going to wrestle himself. A Space Cowboy. He's used to wrestling gators. Critters, Florida Panthers, Armadillos, whatever other kind of critters we got down here. Like and right now, he, he's like in there with a big man. He tried to knock him down. And that, that big man does not go down easy. Nope. Look at that. He just braces himself against the clothesline. A whole lot of nothing. Uh oh, went for a big clothesline Whoa. of his own. But Florida Blue, the quicker of the two. Very nice headbutt. Takes down the Space Cowboy. And a rodeo fist drop there from Florida Bull. Stacy Alexander able to kick out of this one. Hey, do you think that blue hair is a natural? Do you think that's natural color? I mean, depending on which part of Florida you're from, it very well could be. I suppose there is some confusion. If they're chanting for Cowboys, that could be very misleading, depending on your perspective. And right now, from my perspective, Stacy Alexander is taking it to Florida Blue. Look at those back. Using his tricep to just pummel the skull of Florida Blue. That is definitely where concussions come from. Well, he jams him head first into the top turnbuckle. Oh. Sends him in hard to the opposing turnbuckle off that Irish whip. Look at that snap, snap mare. With the quickness from the Space Cowboy, and he knee drops him right across the chest. What do you, what do you call that, the solar plexus? Why don't you leave the anatomical terminology to me, Sticks? I huh? gotta try. What do you call this one? I think you call that a rear chin lock. Who said you didn't know a thing or two about wrestling? Look at the big bro. Oh, what I know is that was a big boot from the Space Cowboy. Well, you can see Florida Blue desperately trying to grab his opponent. Stop the pain, stop the suffering. But right now, it's all Space Cowboy who just continues to punish the chest in the abdominal region of Florida Blue. Andrew Kirk over the two count. Florida Blue able to kick out. Florida Blue trying to figure out where he is right now. Catch his breath after those knees to the chest. Florida Blue coming off some impressive victories in recent history. What, is what was that? Now? He just throat thrusted him right in. That's gonna make it tough to breathe. That's gonna make it tough to swallow. It's gonna make it tough to do anything. Uh oh, Space Cowboy. That's the Vernal Equinox from the Space Cowboy what? taking it up to the stars. Why am I going to make up words? It's the Vernal Equinox sticks. You're over here just. Look, I didn't make it up. That's what he calls it. That's what he calls it. Can that you... is the Spring Equinox. Never mind. Take it back into the ring right now. You can see the Space Cowboy trying to maintain control, but Florida Blue fighting his way out of the grip of the Space Cowboy. And look at this. Florida Blue takes him down with a clothesline. What's Space Cowboy goes down hard. And now Florida Blue heading upstairs. Oh, no. We've seen this before. Oh, Can he add to his impressive victory? What is this? Wait a minute. What? What? A time limit draw. 
That's like this is, I mean, the ruling of the referee is that this match has been judged yes. a no contest. A no contest, a time limit draw. I thought you said I couldn't get any more cowboy pins, and there was just a draw between two cowboy sticks. Wait a second, let me get one in. I know they're cowboys, but that's like kissing your sister. What are you talking about? I what? have no idea. Florida Blue and the Space Cowboy Stacy Alexander go the distance. No clear cut winner. It's a no contest. But let's hear from Florida Blue. I hear what he's got to say. Fight. Let him fight! Yeah! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute! Rodeo round two! Oh, they're not looking to have any words. Oh. They're looking to start where they left off. <laughs> Referee says, all right, let's do it. Let's get a little overtime between the Cowboys. It's a hell of a duel we're seeing right now. And Florida Blue's got the upper hand. What happened? Wait, wait a second. Is Blue drunk? This crowd firmly behind the beloved Florida Blue. Oh, don't tell me after that we're going to have a count out. Referee gives a standing 10 count, but Stacy Alexander back up to his feet first. Wait a minute, went for that leg lariat. He calls that. That flying knee. Stacey Alexander went for the peacemaker, that flying leg lariat. Look how far away he is. And look at this, Florida Blue goes up to the top. There's no way. What? Florida Blue. I'm confused. Goes back upstairs. He goes for it. Oh! And he connects with that flying headbutt. Florida Blue's going to pick one up here. You can Florida see Blue. the exhaustion from both men. Florida Blue Hawk tied himself a victory there with that flying headbutt. He sure did, but man, what a performance from these two Cowboys. A heck of a duel, if you will. Oh my God. Can we please go to commercial or something? Great performance here from both of these guys. I don't know about you, but I want to hear from them. Oh, I want to hear what they have to say. And that's what we do here in FEW. No not more only cowboy points, please. It's just like when you watch basketball, when you watch baseball, you want to catch the press conference. You want to hear what the athletes have to How say. How about you shut up and let them talk? Let's do it. Girl, you haven't changed a bit. Thank you, thank you. No, I try, I try, and look at you. You are glowing. So, do you know what you're having yet? Oh, no, she didn't. I'm not pregnant. Have we gained some semblance of control in this crazy I, carnival? I mean, in, in some ways, yes. In some ways, no. The battle, the bad blood between Culture Inc. and the Players Club continues. Malik desperately wanting to get his hands on JB Cool, but not tonight. Instead, Malik now cleared to compete. He's going to take on the Soul Man, and we're going to take it to Joshua Flores for the proper introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, this next match is scheduled for one fall. One fall! Oh, yeah! I gotta tell you, Sticks. What are you gonna tell me? Tell I me have something. been really eager to see how these things continue to play out between Culture Inc. 
who we're going to see Malik Bosidi right now. And the members of the Players Club, of course, Soul Man Alex G, who's going to be his opponent tonight. And the Black Mama JB Cool. Well, you know how I feel about culturing. They're brash, they're cocky, and disrespectful. But to Sticks, the they're good. Are they, they are very good. They are, are extremely they? talented. And they are looking to stake claim. They, I mean, right now, the focus when it comes to championships around here is most certainly on the FEW Flares division. But you gotta figure, now that we're in 2021, now that this isn't just a restart anymore, we've been back in business for some time. We're looking to crown new champions all around. And both of these teams are looking to get themselves into the hunt for those championship titles. Another week, another night out with the Players Club. Last night, I'll tell you. Did you I go know, out with them again? Absolutely. I know their strategy, but I'm not going to share it with you. Not with the likes of you. Is that why you're slipping and falling asleep in all of our pre-production meetings? Because listen. you're out kicking it with the Players Club? Is that, is that what you call professionalism? Well, wait a minute. Look at this. Malik Bosini taking it to Alex G early. Cheap shot. Cheap shot. Malik Bosini was laid up and out of action for weeks. He had a headache. He didn't have a headache. He had a concussion because J.B. Cool flattened his skull with a steel chair. He ran into the steel chair. Look at this. Malik Look, those with are those close right hands. hands. Ridiculous. And Malik goes outside after Alex G. What is this, a street fight? Well, they're trading blows on the outside. Bruce Owens is counting. Oh, look at this. Malik Bosini quickly slides in the ring. Up and over. Oh, nice hip toss from Malik. Super kick. And Culture Inc. takes the advantage here. Wait a minute. JB Cool almost getting himself in the ring. And Malik JB, saw him. There was some debris in the ring. He was trying to clear debris? the ring. Debris? What are you talking about, debris? I saw Malik Bosini go for a cover, and I just saw right there Alex G, who is a very clever veteran, get the upper hand from Malik Bosini, who took his eye off the ball for just a split second. That's right. Hoisted by his own petard. Look at that throat thrust from Soul Man Alex G. Bruce Owens trying to keep up with the pace. He's had a tough time here. I mean, these guys in Culture Inc. in particular, they move so fast. What is your deal? Do they pay you? They don't pay me. I, I, I'm an objective journalist here with Fighting objective. Evolution You're Wrestling. I'm really a fan of Culture Inc. That's fine. I'm impressed by Culture Inc.'s performance, but I don't take anything away from the Players Club. They were our last champions. They never lost those belts. Oh, well, well, look at this. Oh. Maybe that's why. See, now, look at... JB Cool, JB ever the cool. opportunist. The underside of the pill. He broke a nail. Broke a nail? He was trying to help Malik back into the right side of the ropes. No, what he's doing is he's trying to help Soul Man Alex G now, that's maintain an advantage erroneous. over the impressive Malik Bo CD. That's just erroneous. See, and Soul Man Alex G doesn't need help. What a surprise. Soul Man stays in control after JB Cool inserts himself into the match. I feel like you're making things up. Uh, I'm watching what you're watching, Sticks. And what I just watched was Malik Bosidi get that left shoulder up. He is not ready to be done just yet. Nick Holiday, ever the hype man, ever the voice of Culture 8, trying to get the crowd here. Rocking and rallying behind Malik Bosidi. This is a one-sided crowd. Uh oh. Uh, Malik went for the sunset flip. He's trying to roll up Alex G. Alex G with the sunset Alex business. trying to keep his balance, Look trying to make sure that he leads forward. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, we go. Oh, no. There's the rotation of cover. That happens to me so much. It's not fun. Well, I think the issues applying to you are a little bit different than what we're seeing right now. But that was an opportunity for Malik Bosini, but he can't get to his feet very fast. And Alex G. 
with those strong left hands. Yeah, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. The soul man, Alex G. And look at JB Cool dancing oh. out here. Wait a minute. Oh no. Oh no. Malik fell down. Oh, somebody should is help he, him. Are we saying that he kicked him on the inside of the thigh? He, what is Bruce Owens doing? Why lower, can't he make an objective call here? The There's a lot of times where I'm really at, questioning. Look at, look at you want to talk about me being on a payroll? What's Bruce Owens doing right now? He's help. He's, uh... Yeah, oh yeah, he's really admonishing Alex G. While J.B. Cool continues to punish Malik on the outside. See, I didn't and look, and he yells at Nick Holiday. What is this? As, as usual. What do you mean as, as usual? As usual, we're getting more and more shenanigans in these matchups that take place between Culture Inc. The Players Club. The Players Club. Is dominating as usual is what you meant. You know to what? Say. Just because you like all the places they take you down here in Miami, all these clubs, because I know they get VIP access and bottle service and all the things that you like, rather than working and studying and getting yourself ready for our show. What are you talking about? I study hard. But they are cheating and they are trying to get an advantage. But right now, Malik has a shot. He has an opportunity to level the playing field. It looks like Malik is on the ground. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, so is Alex G. And that means both men are starting from scratch here. Look at the soul man. Look, look at the resilience of the soul man. Getting back to his feet after this. Malik with a back elbow. Make it two. And now Irish whip Malik. Oh, wait a minute, Alex. She reverses it. Oh, Malik flips up and over. How does he do that? Oh, spine buster from Malik Bosidi. Malik Bosidi is a house of fire right now. Look at all the energy. He's getting a second wind. I want him tested for steroids. Oh. European uppercut, back elbow, and a strong clothesline. How do you know that uppercut was European? I mean, that's what the move is called, Sticks. Maybe if you weren't busy partying, you'd be studying your nomenclature when it comes to professional wrestling moves. Who's Norman? Unbelievable. Oh, Malik ducked that clothesline. He's got a full Nelson. Oh, no. He drives it forward. His version of the stroke goes for the pin. Oh, wait a minute, there's oh. JB. Oh, oh look at JB. here we go again. Here we go he again. Made the save. Look at helping his friend. That's a good friend and is what that is. That's a disqualification, but you know what sticks? You know what sticks? The record book shows two wins in a row for Culture Inc. And there it is, Eli Knight here to level the play. Kid. What is he doing? He's not even in the match. This is ridiculous. There is so much bad blood. This is not a tag team match, but right now. This is assault. Yeah, well, it was turning into a handicap match because of your buddies. The Why are you going to call me names? I'm not. Enough with you. Look, oh, and now the players club with the upper hand. JB and Alex G. Showing off their veteran prowess. Teaching. And teaching they're taking out Culture some, Inc. Some lessons. What is this? What is this now? Oh, wait a minute. Eli Knight, the 19 year old prodigy of flight. Oh, look at that. E Malik Bosini with a super kick. Alex G rolls out of the ring. I feel like, oh, so another super oh, kick no. for Black Mamba JB. Cool. Oh, make it two. Culture Inc. Lining him up. There you go. They, they turn him inside out. Somebody call the police. The Culture Inc. Club. standing tall. No, it looks like they're kneeling. You're, you're, you're not paying attention. Nick Holiday joins him in the ring. Wow. When are we going to get all four of these men in the ring again? When are we going to get Culture See, Inc. versus the Players Club it proper? It doesn't look like that's even numbered. That's, that's three on two. Uh, it was two on one for a while, if you I don't remember. Know what you're about. Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! They're not done yet. They're not done. Hey, what the hell? We need to get some control. Somebody here. has got to pull we these need, guys we out. They're gonna pull each other out of here. We need to get security in here. Even Officer Drake on an off day. That's right. Serving as off constable duty. here at FBW. Off duty. There you see Isaiah Zane. 
locker room, members of the FEW locker room coming out to hold off all of these teams and break up what's going on. Andrew Girk is out here. Bruce Owens trying to maintain some kind of control. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute, Eli Knight. Oh, hey. Just jumped right across the middle of the ring. He's out of ring. control. He needs to switch the decaf. Somebody needs to get a handle on this here. This is chaos. This is chaos. This is great. Well, while we try to get some order here, we're going to need to hire more security sticks. I know some guys. I got a cousin. We've been doing just fine on this bloodthirsty crowd. Oh, here comes Trying Florida to make Blue. it play. Florida Blues out here. We've got people trying to break these guys up. They can't keep them off of each other. Yeah, Nick Holiday not doing a very good job of keeping his guys off of the Players Club, but I can't say that I blame him under the circumstances. What circumstances? This is a fight. This hey, is look, a fight. Malik Bosini, let's not forget, he suffered a concussion at the hands of the Players he Club. He had a headache. You always over It's not a right. headache. It's you a concussion. Exactly it's right. a traumatic brain injury. He ra yeah, he's got brain damage, all right. But That's what I'm saying. About. When your brain sloshes around inside your skull Speaking and collides with the walls, Listen. that is a concussion sticks to his brain damage. Don't talk about how I walk. That's disrespectful. We've got anybody and everybody coming out here. Guys, I don't know where this is going to go, but these teams are far from done with each other. We have got to get these two teams back in the ring. When's it going to happen? Right now. Oh, whoa! JP, oh, whoa! Madness, absolute madness, anarchy, chaos. This is great. I love it. These referees need a raise. So does our security staff. We've got wrestlers coming out. Referees, I need a raise. We've got people. We've got new what teams. Is that? having That's the that? main event. They're, they're supposed to be in action next, but circus they're not going to have a match if this ring doesn't clear out. There's the Russell Twins. We've got members of the crowd. We've got everybody. Eli and I said he could do this all day. Look at this. All four men sent to almost all four corners. Bruce Owens has got to get them out of here. How? <laughs> I don't know. Help? Why don't you go help? That's a damn good question. Well, if I go help, who's going to call the action? You? I will. Uh, no, we can't let that happen. I'm a certified broadcaster. We have ratings numbers. We got to hit. We That's have to right. hit our, you know, we've got to. Yeah, we're not going to do it with you by yourself because all you're going to do is talk about your love for the Players Club. Nobody cares what you guys do at the club at night. You just mad because nobody invites you to VIP parties. That has nothing to do with it. That's what it I is. I don't want an invitation. You have a lonely life. That's I don't is. want an invitation. I have plenty to do on my own. Thank you. What are you going to do, read, you nerd? You should try it sometime. I don't know what that I, means. I think things are simmering down a little bit. Maybe. What, what is this now? Malik Bosidi is completely Guys. out of control. I don't. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, here we go again. All right, Culture Inc. They can't wait to get their hands on the Players Club. Oh, I saw a shiny hat get smushed. That's a shame. These fans have no class. It looks know. like it looks like we're finally, finally getting some control. Are we going to get any control of anything? Well, I do know this that uh, the Players Club and I have uh, plans later. But let's hear what they have to say uh, after that melee, if you will. Look at this, JB out here still running his mouth, still challenging Culture Inc. Wow. If you want, you want to support Culture Inc. after that kind of language? Know. Does he kiss his mother with that mouth? Uh, I hope not. So much aggression from both of these teams. I mean, we've said bad blood, but I'm not sure it ran quite this deep. 
This thing just continues to boil over. I mean, continues to boil over. We this got my battle. Boston Players Club in the back. Let's hear what they got to say. Country, you think you've done something? All you did is made Players Club even more piss off. You gentlemen don't know what the hell you in for because we're going to beat the hell out of you guys. We ain't going to stop till we put one of you in the hospital or both of you. You think this is over with? You just done made the Players Club more fired up than ever. You right about that, soul man. You see what I'm saying? If there's one thing for certain and two things for sure, you see the Players Club, we don't lie down for nobody and we don't take no shit from nobody. And boys, we're going to show you exactly what your daddy should have taught you when you're in the room with two grown men. All right? So the next time we see you boys, we're going to go ahead and tell that commissioner, you can find us, you can suspend us, but boys, best believe the Players Club is going to kick your ass. See now. Wow. We had plans to go party tonight after the show. Uh, clearly, the Players Club in no mood I don't to know party. What, I don't know what to do now. I'm, I'm sad you ruined my night. I'm, it's your fault. What, what did I, I blame do? you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry your night is ruined, but I think the party is over for the Players Club. They mean business, but, you know, we're going to have to toss it back. We want to hear from Culture Ring. Do i, I got to know do, the other side of the hear story here. Yes, we do, and let's do it now. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Oh! That's Players Club, we ain't no punks. We came here for one reason, and one reason only, to change the culture of FEW. Now we finna take you old dogs out the pasture and put you out of your misery ourselves. If that's what we gotta do to change the culture of this division, then so be it. Y'all messed up now. Yep. Oh! You heard that? You heard that? <laughs> The commissioner wants to spend them. No, no, no. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. No, no, no. What we do is we fight. That's what we represent. In our culture, in our culture, we fight. That's all we know what to do. So Players Club, nah, you ain't getting off easy. That's not how it goes. Culture, we gonna whoop your ass. Put it like this. You wanna go street, JB? And let's go straight street. See you next week. Stay woke. We coming. Next week, Sticks. Next week, we might get all four men in the ring at the same time. A great tag team match then. But we got a great tag team match coming up next. The tag team division is heating up, and it's going to heat up even more right after these words. I still can't even catch my breath after everything we've witnessed here tonight. Craziness, absolute craziness, but more to come. Well, let's hope that this continues, because what a night it's been, and we got two great tag teams coming your way. We've seen these guys before, the Russell Twins. They're going to be taking on the debuting main event. Let's toss it to Joshua Flores. Sticks, I still can barely catch my breath. Yeah, well, you better do it quick because this match promises to be exciting, Professor. You're, you're not kidding. And according to you, I need you to do this job. So you better pick up the slack, son. You're right, you do, and I owe it to these people to be able to do it. You talk about exciting tag teams. We know there's a lot of exciting tag teams, but these guys are right at the top of that list. The Russell Twins, a tag team that uh, never saw a cup of coffee they didn't like, apparently. Two-thirds of the team known as the Make It, standing in front. That's Allen with an A and Cameron with a K coming out with the shades on. But get ready, because this right here 
at least as they claim, is the greatest show in professional wrestling, making their debut. Coming out next, this is the main event. This is the ringleader, Midas, the Blazing Lion. This is going to be a hell of a matchup, Sticks. Did you say lion? I, I did say a lion. Sorry. I know you've worked with bears before. I'm allergic to cats. This is not uh, I think we're far enough okay. away. I didn't take any Benadryl. I'm probably going to be itchy. Again, I blame you. If you start scratching, I'm moving over. Oh my God! Look at this! There's the lion, the blazing lion, and the ringleader Midas. I get it. Man. Does he have a steak in his mouth? Because of the lion. I get it. Oh, that's clever. Is that? That's a steak in his mouth. I didn't see a steak out at the concession stands in the FEW arena. Uh, I, you didn't tell me they were serving steak tonight. I didn't know. Is, is he going to keep eating it? I the, the, mean, while, while he's wrestling? I would. Do lions run? I have so many questions. Well... Let me see if I can help you answer a few. Main event comes to you from New York City as you stay to train by the amazing Red. Looks a like a lion. A lockup with a lion. A lockup with a lion. That's, uh, that's Cameron with a K. And he still has a steak in his mouth. And that's a blazing lion. And that's lion with an L. Wow. There's did Alan you, with an A. Did you, did you get there all by yourself? Wrenching or? on the paw of the blazing lion. Wouldn't it be his? Uh, I'm I'm front very leg? I'm very distracted by this piece of meat hanging out of the mouth of the blazing you lion. You would be I, distracted by a piece of meat. The blazing lion showing an impressive athletic display. He's a pretty big guy to move around like that. That's, that's a lion. As that's heck. not a guy. Yeah, that's yeah. a lion. Oh wow! He just walked into one hell of a clothesline. And a standing moonsault to boot. There's Cameron with a splash, goes for the cover. But the Lion kicks out only at one. Professor, think about what's happened. This is history. We, still get, to see, we get to see what happens when it's man versus beast. Oh, look and at this. Beast is he winning is, right now. He is not going to give up that piece of steak for anything. Well, he just used it to hurl his opponent into his corner. And now the ring leader, Midas Black. Oh, my God. They call that the flying trapeze. How do you know? How do you know this? Because I do my homework instead of partying with the Players Club. Homework Look at that drop kick. Mine is black. And the Blazing Lion. The this main event in full control. Lions can't kick. What is? This is not a thing. Whoa. Oh, my God. They call that the throwing knife. Okay, you, I think you're making this up. I'm you're not making show. it up. These are different circus acts, Dix. That's what we're talking about here. This is the greatest show in pro wrestling. Oh, wait a minute. He just tossed the steak. You know I've never been to the circus. I'm sorry but to hear that you've had such a boring life thus far. You know me better than that. I don't have a boring Look at this. Life. Oh, my go God. go round and round. Oh, wait a minute. Both men get the tags with their respective partners. Here comes Midas Black. Here comes Cameron. Cameron, the taller of the two, and using his height advantage and his length advantage in order to capitalize and take the action back into his corner. Midas Black whipped off the ropes. Oh, and Cameron with a clothesline and a back elbow. Wait a minute. Modified fisherman suplex there. Very nice display of offense from the Russell Twins. You shouldn't kick lions. Look at how fast those feet move. That's animal brutality. You mean animal cruelty? That one. You know what I meant. There's police That's brutality and That's animal cruelty. That's See, what I said. you know what? 
Your professionalism needs work. Too much partying with the players' club, Sticks. Oh! Atomic drop! Oh, wow, that sling blade. Nice tandem offense from the Russell Twins. Oh, two and a half. Allen almost secured the victory for the Russell Twins. Blazing Lion outside counting his teeth. And right now the ringleader Midas Black. Oh, look at this, look at the athletic prowess. Here comes the Lion. Is that a spinning bat kick from a Lion? These guys move so fast. You better not blink, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, wow! A Uranagi into a flat line. I think they call that the Razzle Dazzle. The Razzle Dazzle, yeah. You're getting no shortage. Kicked him right in the face again. That's the hat trick, and the main event is in full control. Such fast, quick offense, ladies and gentlemen. It's not pretty, That's but he makes the connection there. Oh! The moon salt from the Blazing Lion. That the lion salt. Was a lion salt. He's going for the grand finale. Oh! Ah, uh, but not if Allen has anything to say about it. Cameron's in a bad way. Chop from the Blazing Lion. If, if the lion throws a chop, is it a scratch? I, it might, it depends on how well he has uh, trimmed his claws. Two men versus a lion. I don't know which way I, I, would, you know, I would wager. Oh, DDT! Oh no, never mind. The momentum went in the opposite direction. Blazing Lion, he survives. Barely. Midas Black trying to break it up. I'm starting to feel bad for the Lion. Like Allen takes earlier, out Midas Black. I think this is animal br brutality. Yeah. Allen is inside, he's in control. He bounces off the ropes, but the Lion catches him. Gets a tag, now main event. Whoop! Oh my goodness! Controversial call. He called for the three count. And the main event, wait a minute, wait a minute though! Main oh! event! They picked up the win, but here's the new nation. The new nation laying down the law. The hunters of oh the new nation God. are just laying out the main event. You can see they're clad in tiger and cat skin. Looks like they're trying to capture some lion skin to go along with their collection. Prince Igbala. Oh, the hunt. I mean, Mugabe, and they complete the hunt. On the blazing line. Oh, wait a minute, they're not done. I thought they were only out here to go after the main event, but it looks like the Russell Twins are going to get some too. Oh! Spinning disc is close on there. Prince Igbala, the leader of the new nation. Is he looking at me? I hope he's not looking at me. He's not looking at me. I don't, I don't want him looking over here at all. I can't run. You better not leave me. Sticks. We have so many exciting tag teams, but is there anyone that stacks up against the new nation, Amin Mugabe and Prince Igbala, former FEW champion Prince Igbala? What an impressive display from the new nation. The main event picks up an impressive victory against the highly competitive Russell Twins, but I don't think we're getting any post-match interviews. I don't know if anybody can move. We we're gonna have to figure things out what a chaotic night we're having don't you go anywhere control. don't go anywhere we'll be right back with some flares action
We are alto hyperbaric oxygen. We provide pressurized oxygen sessions that will help you recover faster, train harder, and heal quickly. We are open in Florida and California and coming soon globally. Visit us at altohyperbaric.com. Alto Hyperbaric Oxygen. Recuperate, recover, rejuvenate. Make your body better with oxygen. Call today or visit us at altohyperbaric.com. Well, we've had some time to make some adjustments. But right now, we're in for a major attitude adjustment because these you two- You need an attitude adjustment. We're all gonna get one because these two ladies are full of attitude. It's Renee Michelle, it's Layla Gray. It's right now, it's gonna help us determine who's gonna move on. We know Roxy Rouge is gonna be awaiting the winner of this along with Amber Nova. In the finals to determine our new Flares champion, Joshua Flores is gonna tell us more. The Flares Division Championship Invitational right now. is the second match in the Flares Division Championship Invitational. The Queen of Bad, the Unstoppable Danger, the Highly Confident Fan favorite, Layla Gray is here inside the FEW Arena. Hey, hey, Layla Gray. There she is, Dix. You think she'd give me an autograph? She's looking to move on. You think, you, you and get to the finals. I, I need a picture with her. You think she gave a picture with Will me? you please get just, yourself together I mean, I and be to, professional? You're time. not at the club. Hey, You're not with the Players Club. We are here at the commentary I'm not booth. A, I'm not with the Players Club because you made them angry. Well, we're going to find out who's going to be moving on because Roxy Rouge, Amber Nova, and whoever wins here between Layla Gray and this woman, Renee Michelle, no stranger to your television sets, ladies and gentlemen featured all over WWE TV last year in 2020. Wait, I, I want her autograph now. Can I have her autograph now? You better get yourself an autograph book. This ain't Disney sticks. Let me get an eight by 10. This is FEW and we make believe here, FEW. A lot of similarities between these two women. Yes, indeed. So much attitude, so much confidence. But there are a few key differences between them. I wonder if they'll go to the club with me tonight. You think they'll go to the club? Let's, let's see if they'll give like, you bottle think, service. I don't think they want anything to do with you. Why will not? You, will you knock it off? What about the parking space? I get great parking you, everywhere. Uh, you do get very good parking. You get the best parking. But that is neither here nor there. Let's talk about there. Park your carcass where you are, and let's watch this match. Let's call the action. Let's do our jobs. I am doing my job. I'm using my eyes. Bruce Owens, check. Oh, wait a minute. All right. Bruce. Hey, easy, Bruce, Bruce. I got this. I got this. Look at Bruce. Ever the professional. He's an idiot. Well, I don't think Bruce is going to be looking for any raises this year. I think he's happy right where he's at. I don't even know how to respond to that. That's surprising. I figured you'd have something. I'll tell you what, inside that ring is something right There's now. There's a whole lot of attitude inside that ring. But let me tell you the key difference between these two women. Oh, please educate me. We've been watching Layla Gray here in FEW for a couple of months now. We know all about her, but what she is is a rookie. She is still a relative newcomer. She is still pretty inexperienced. You wouldn't know it from listening to her and hearing her talk, hearing her in her post matches, win, lose, or draw. But Renee Michelle is a seven year veteran of the squared circle. 
internationally known, internationally trained. She's trained in India with the great Kali. She has trained in Japan with the legendary Chigusa Nagayo, owner of Gaia, now marvelous. And that trainer of hers, by the way, was famous, had a tag team partner named Lioness Asuka, the original Asuka, for which the Asuka you know you, takes you, her name. You need some hobbies. What I'm telling you all, studying is my not just a hobby, it is my job. It makes me good at what I do, and it makes me inform our viewers here of what they're watching. What they're watching uh, what is they're a seeing match right now. Is the veteran Renee Michelle taking control on Layla Gray, who now kips up again. There's that attitude, but Renee Michelle takes her down. Layla Gray back try. up to her feet. I'm gonna try and behave myself here. And a pull of her own, and Layla Gray is all smiles. I'm not sure she should be, because she's got a pretty serious competitor standing across the ring from her. Wait, I mean, never mind. Never mind. Bruce better watch out. He's caught in between some serious sass there. He, wow, really? He's oh, you said sass. He's made, easy over there, easy over there. What's that matter with you? Side headlock from Layla Gray. She's wrenching it in deep, but Renee Michelle trying to force her away. Stop. Oh, stop. foot stop from Renee Michelle and a reversal. Nice maneuver here from Renee Michelle. Oh, look at this. Layla tried to send her off into the ropes, but that slide stop keeps Renee Michelle in control and keeps Layla Gray right where Renee wants her. I wish she wanted me right there. Are, are you are you going to talk about this match? I am talking about are this you match. Talk about this match because I, 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 I don't feel like you're talking about this match. I am talking about this match. Oh, what you're talking about over there? I'm talking about Renee Michelle and Layla Gray. Me too. Oh, look at this, Renee Michelle starts and stops a nice side headlock and a headlock takeover. Wrestling? I'm all smiles inside that ring. But don't let the oh, smiles fool oh, you. Smiles Those are aggressive. Here. Oh, look at the intensity on the face of Renee Michelle. She is trying to put Layla Gray to sleep. Layla now getting back to a vertical base. Renee trying to keep her grounded, but Layla forces her off into the corner. Layla Gray with some stiff shots to the midsection. Oh, look at those kicks. Look at this, look, look at, at that. Look at this. Choking her out across the bottom get row. There, Bruce. Bruce Owens having to get himself in between these two ladies and break it up. What a lucky man. She's lucky she didn't get disqualified there. She's got a championship opportunity hinging on this match. Remember, the winner of this match will go on to compete for the FEW Flares Championship. Absolutely. Roxy Rouge, the former Flares champion, earning a bye in this Flares Invitational, which I do think is appropriate. Absolutely. She was the champion when never this all started. Never lost the title. Never, never, never lost the title. Was stripped of the title unjustly, I might add. Well, it was part of the restart, Sticks. It was part of welcoming all of our new Somebody fans. Somebody came in to and just made up the rules. Uh, and you better not let Alyssa Sky hear you talking like that. Who? Our commissioner, Sticks. Would you focus, please? I'm trying. Well, one of these two women is going to go on to meet Amber Nova, who picked up a victory in an impressive match last week against T. Gaines. And, folks, if you haven't seen that match, you need to go back in YouTube and watch it. I watched it like 12 times. Neck breaker from Layla Gray. It looks like she's trying to move on. Another cover. But Renee Michelle continues to kick out at one. A lot of fight left in her. I can't get over the similarities between these two. Well, I mean, they are a little different. They are certainly cut from the same cloth, which makes it really interesting. I'm going to give the advantage to Renee Michelle just based on experience, but Layla Gray, in true Layla Gray fashion, the unstoppable oh. danger that she is, just got her jaw jacked from Renee Michelle. Wow, don't ruin her face. Renee Michelle is trying to win a match here, Sticks. That's kind of what the purpose behind all of this is. There's a match happening. Uh-oh, Layla went for a clothesline. Oh! But Renee Michelle folds her almost in half with one of her own. Another flying clothesline takes down Layla Gray. 
Layla very slow to get back to her feet. And a drop kick from Renee Michelle. Cover. She over rotated her a little bit, allowing Layla to easily escape. But you can tell Layla is very much out of sorts right now. I don't know who to root for. Uh oh, Renee uh -oh. went in hard and got caught with a boot to the face. This is the opportunity that Layla Gray was looking for. Went for a big clothesline. Uh oh. Fancy footwork from Renee Michelle oh. as she gets taken down hard. That was a hangman's face buster, and that's going to send Renee Michelle into the finals. Well, for the first time in your life, you were right, Professor. I got to tell you, those sticks. This one was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. It was great. It was fun to watch. Seven years experience versus several months experience. I mean, that's a big difference, but the attitude, the confidence, the never quit attitude of Layla Gray, certainly keeping her a fair contender in this matchup. What a great match it was, but nevertheless, Renee Michelle is going to be moving on. She's going to be taking on Amber Nova and the former Flares champion. Listen, I need Roxy you to stop Rouge. talking. I need you to stop talking because someone much prettier than you has words to say. Renee Michelle, welcome back to FEW. How does it feel being automatically put back into the Few Flares championship competition? Put back? Put back? Honey, I never left. All right, I've been booked and busy, but it's okay. It's all right. I know all these little so-called girls have their little shiny moment, but guess what? I'm back. Renee Michelle is back. A real woman has been here. Oh man, you know I hate jail. Not again. Uh. Yeah, I hate jail, man, you know I hate jail This has been a great fail, I just wanna make bail Am I ever getting out? Honestly, I can't tell Now I'm caught up in the system, can't escape hell I need Matthew Glassman, I know that he's gonna Fight like hell when he's up in my corner Try to get me out and keep me out with him, I'm never worried He'll give it everything, so call him in a hurry Hey, you hate jail and you hate it with a passion Call the law offices of Matthew Glassman Hey. You hate jail and you hate it with a passion Call the law offices of Matthew Glassman hey. HateJail.com, check the website hey. HateJail.com, they put up the fight hey. HateJail.com, check the website hey. HateJail.com, they put up the fight Yeah, HateJail.com and the law offices of Matthew Glassman Over 10 years of experience with criminal charges In the Broward, Dade, and Palm Beach County HateJail.com more humility from Layla Gray than we're used to seeing and I thought it was interesting that she said that she actually has a lot of respect for Renee Michelle I think that makes sense they're pretty similar in terms of their approach yeah I don't like it why don't you like I, it? I don't like I, I need I need I need the confidence back I need the swagger back I need Layla Gray to get back well, to Layla Gray status. I'm sure that that will not take very long if history of how she performs tells us anything. But folks, history was made here tonight. The finals are set. We're going to have a contract signing next week, so make sure you tune in for that, along with more great action We're done from already. the FEW. We're done. I don't think I can do any more. What are you talking what about? What a crazy night, folks. My name is The Young Professor. They call me Sticks. And what a great show we had. And we're going to do it all again next week. And that is all the people need to know.